What's going on guys? It's Ethan Fairbanks and today I'm going to bring you guys a little bit more of a different video. Um, I'm going to do something like a voiceover and hopefully you guys enjoy. Today I'm going to be talking about how to build muscle based on my personal experiences and some of the research that I've put in to muscle growth and things like that. I'm not a certified personal trainer or anything like that. I have no certifications. This is all information based on my own experience my lifters and clients experiences, as well as my own personal research. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is shocking the muscles. Now, what I mean by this is constantly trying new exercises to essentially fake out your muscles and also looking for new exercises that work for you because what works for somebody else, what works for me might not work for you. Everybody's different. Everybody's muscles grow differently. A lot of genetics play out in certain exercises so for example i'm super gifted genetically when it comes to my shoulders and my chest so i get a lot more lactic acid buildup in my shoulders and chest and i have a lot more options because i have a lot more exercises that really get the blood flow and the lactic acid flowing through those muscles so you need to find out what exercises work for you for specific muscle bodies the next thing I want to talk about is time under tension or like mechanical tension. And what I mean by this is slower movements. Okay, so when you're performing an exercise, you need to think of it as how can I get the most tension on the muscle that I'm training as possible throughout each rep, throughout each set. Okay, so when training, you need to be very slow on the top of the movement on the eccentric portion of the movements as well as the concentric portions of the movements so you need to be slow coming back and you need to be slow pushing forward and you really need to make sure that you're squeezing your muscles at the very end of each movement that's going to allow for more um, tension on those muscle fibers another thing is you need to be lifting heavy enough to actually put tension and pressure on those muscle fibers which leads us into my next point and that point is progressive overload now what progressive overload is it's essentially finding a way to add intensity into your program and increasing that week by week adding intensity can be in many different ways you can do it by adding five extra pounds every single week you can do it by adding one to two reps, maybe a little bit more every single week. You can do it by increasing your sets by one to two sets every single week. There's lots of ways to achieve progressive overload, but you just need to make sure that you're doing that. That way your training days are actually going to be intense and they're actually going to be hard for you because your body is going to adapt to the exercises you're doing to the weight you're doing to the sets reps everything so you need to constantly just make sure that you're changing things up and finding new ways uh, to get that muscle breakdown so something that i'm sure most of us know by now is that dieting is one of the most important parts of putting on muscle and to achieve muscle growth in a diet, you need to be on some sort of caloric surplus. Now, this can be a lean bulk, which is where you're essentially eating in a caloric surplus of 100 to 200 calories, and you're eating on that surplus until you are no longer gaining weight. And then you would increase it again, and you would follow that until you no longer gain weight again. And you would just kind of play it by either the scale or your visual looks. If you think that you are sitting at a pretty low body fat percentage and you've turned most of the fat on your body into muscle, then you can increase your calories that way. Or you can just go by the scale and just keep increasing your calories, which at some point throughout that method, you're going to probably have a little bit more fat than you may like. So I do recommend that you kind of have some sort of visual goal in mind. So that way you're not just constantly looking to gain weight. But nevertheless, if you're looking to put on size, you need to be eating in a caloric surplus. Eat at least 100 to 200 calories more than your caloric maintenance. Um, obviously, if you want to put on more size more fast, which is probably going to be more fat, then eat closer to 500 calories above maintenance. But that's completely up to you and your goals. Now, the last thing that I think is extremely crucial for muscle growth is to rest. A lot of people overtrain, and when you overtrain, you're actually risking most of your gains, and you're 
actually hurting your body more than you're doing it good. So make sure that you're taking at least, at least one rest day a week. And something that a lot of people need to know is that most of your muscle growth is on your rest days because that's when those broken down muscle fibers are building back up and repairing. So you need to make sure that you're getting proper rest. You need to make sure you're sleeping eight hours a night. You need to make sure you're taking at least one rest day throughout the week. And you also need to make sure that when your body is getting super fatigued and it's starting to feel super tired and drained all the time, it might be time to take on a deload. It might might be time to take a step back uh, on training and just decrease overall intensity. So that can be either going to the gym instead of six days a week, you might want to go to the gym, you know, for three days in a week just to let your body recover. Or you might want to take a week off or you might want to just lower the intensity by quite a bit. Um, There's lots of ways to deload, but I'll save that for another video. But one thing that is super important is your rest and you guys need to make sure that you're prioritizing that. All right, guys, so for a recap, we're going to start with shocking the muscles. Make sure that we're constantly trying new exercises and we're constantly doing new things to put our muscles on new types of stress. Also, make sure that we are utilizing time under tension or mechanical tension. We're performing those slow, controlled reps on the eccentric and concentric motions. We're constantly straining those muscles to make sure that they're constantly under stress and we're constantly breaking them down. Next thing we need to do is we need to utilize the progressive overload. We need to constantly maintain our intensity increase. We need to week by week add more intensity in. Next thing we need to do is we need to be eating in a caloric surplus. Eat at least 100 to 200 calories above maintenance to put on that muscle mass. Finally, last but not least is rest. Make sure that we are properly resting. We're listening to our bodies because muscle is going to only grow while we're resting. Make sure that we're taking those deloads when we need them. Make sure that we're sleeping at least eight hours a night. And finally, make sure that we are lowering intensity when needed. All right, guys, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys liked this new type of video. I certainly liked recording it for you guys. I think it's going to help a lot of people. If it helped you, make sure you guys leave a like down below. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with every single video I post in the future. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already, okay? It really does help me out, and it's completely free, and you can subscribe, unsubscribe anytime you want. That being said, I love each and every single one of you guys. It's been real. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.